like you lost another one. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Rainmaker Saga. Tis I, the one and only. I don't even need to mention my name because you already know my name. And because it's right here <laughs> on this awesome shirt. Can you dig it? The Rainmaker, the one and only, Willie Lee Henderson III. Don't forget it. Welcome back to another episode of How They Get Fly. Alright, so today is going to be another action-packed day of how to be an ultimate extra beast like moi, okay? As you can see, just got my hair uh, re-dyed, got the green green looking green green. That means uh, don't don't piss me off or I'll turn into the Hulk and smash you. And so I had that done earlier today. I was in the salon for like, well, not a salon, barbershop um, for like two hours getting this re-dyed. And I got very impatient because it's hard for me to sit one place at one time for longer than like five minutes before I have to get up and move around. So, but it's a good day. Got the hair dyed. I'm going to get it braided tomorrow. Okay. So, as you can see, I got my t-shirts made. But I think I might make some adjustments to them. I'm gonna get everyone's input on them and then make whatever adjustments I might need made. But they came out really nice. I like them. Maybe a little close up. Pretty sweet. And then the back. Put fitness on it, you know what I'm saying? Bada boom, bada bing. So, also, um, I'd like to point out the studio is looking really nice. If you didn't, if you didn't see the studio on my last episode, you can go back and look and kind of see it from the beginning to where it is now. And this room did not look nothing like how it looks now. It looks really nice. Really, really nice. You got the Ali picture in the background. Let's see. Okay, it's only going to focus on me, apparently. There we go. Got the Ali in the background. Got the badass samurai sticker on the wall, the bamboo. So, yeah, the studio looks really nice. Now, now I'm just waiting on my sound, my foam pieces for to sound treat the room. And then I have to buy another camera because I absolutely want two views for my podcast. So I have to buy another camera. I'm pretty sure I'm going with the, um, what is it called? EV, 
EZ10, EZV10, something like that. It's a Sony camera. So I'm probably going to get that. I'm about to run out to Best Buy, see if they got it there. If not, I'll probably buy it online. So once I get that in, the sound treatment, foam pads, and then my sign. My sign is being made. They said it'll be about um, a week to a week and a half. So the podcast, the first episode, the first episode will be shot very, very soon. And I already know who I have. Excuse me. I already know who I have coming on for my first episode. Well, I mean, I haven't even asked him yet, but I already know he's gonna say yes because he's awesome. And I'm not gonna tell you yet because that's gonna be a surprise. But the first episode is just gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a very, very good guest. So just stay tuned for that. And also, this weekend I'm going to Birmingham for a seminar, a Rodrigo seminar, and that's gonna be really, really fun and very uh, educational, of course. Then the next tournament I have coming up is a kickboxing, it's an IKF tournament, it's like a no knockouts tournament. That's going to be on March the 6th, so stay tuned for that, the results for that. That's going to be, a, that's like a month from now, a little less than a month, so those are a couple things I got coming up. And with that being said, let's uh, shake around the row. I need to go out to the store, and then I'll be heading to jiu-jitsu class. I'll get a little bit of that filmed and show you guys probably me getting strangled and something like that. All right, deuces. Spiraling in. Make sure here too that I'm not just going here and keeping this hand underneath. It's too easy for him just to push this away. So again, as I'm here, again, look at the angle of my, my knee, how it's pointing out. My knee naturally. And rather than thinking about finishing this by lifting the hips, I'm right here, take the thumb, turn it to where his elbow is facing this way, and pull it across your hip right here. It's a whole lot easier. Yes, so from right here, I go right here, I'll even right here. Now, I come up, I kick, boom, and then I'm going to grab it. Now, yeah, now I go here, boom, this way. Yeah, so here, Willie, stop here for a sec. Let's see. Which leg? Yeah, don't go down. down. Which one? Well, Straight your hand. arm bar in this one right here. So this one's coming across. Your right hand is the one grabbing the arm, and this one is going to grab right here. But see how your knee is out right here? Right. Again, if that's like this right here, and he can get his knee out and over, it's a problem. But also, if he just tries to raise up and yank that right arm back, it's going to be easy. Man, you've got to be really relaxed here. Put this here. You've got to be super active with this right here. Does that make sense? This has to stay in tight against that shoulder. Okay, so when I so I broke them down here. Mm -hmm. Which one am I straightening? Is, is it this one? Yeah, this one's in the hip. This one's in the hip right here. Yep. You're cutting your angle just like that. Yep. And I keep that there. Yep. That one. Now left leg goes over the head. Reach out and bite. Pinch your knees together. That's it. Just like that. Yep.
once again, I forgot to turn on my microphone, but that's okay because I am still samurai. Summoning Jitsu. Okay, 42 degrees, ice bath, did about five minutes. As you can see, check the physique, absolute monster, absolute animal. You see the cool, the calmness on my face. You can tell that I'm a natural reptilian, not a lizard person. Let's not get that mistaken. All right, take a little dip, head under the water, you know what I'm saying? And Rejuvenated. All right, you guys get 13 belts. Hey, yeah, and then when you're 16 is when you'll join the adult program. And typically, people who get to their green and black belt, once they turn 16, they pretty much get their blue belt right away uh, if you spend that long. So it's kind of awesome that you guys get all sorts of belts. Okay? So I do want to get a belt, and like I said, typically you'll get four stripes and then you get the next belt, but I'm really bad sometimes about not giving out stripes when I should. I just get the train and I forget, but I, I promise I'm going to do a whole lot better about that. So I'll take questions here in just a minute. But I do want to give a belt. I mean, um, Willie's been with me for a long, long time. And um, as I said, when we look at promotions, here, come up here. So when we look at promotions too, one thing with the jujitsu, I mean, Willie, he needs to be promoted based on his tournament record, his competition. I think one of my best moments and one of my best picks is when Willie's dad, Willie, Willie Sr., sent the picture of you holding like four medals and he's holding his one. Only three. And three or whatever. He tried to start holding it. Yeah. Um, went to, I think, his first tournament and killed it. I mean, you had, what, six matches or six submissions? It was just, and they were all different submissions. It was just a really impressive hobby. Um, so, uh, and he's continued to do those same things. But again, the biggest reason I want to promote Willie, too, is he's always just super pleasant in class, always willing to help new people, never complains, always stated, look, always looking at me, um, and all those things that we really want to really want to work on. So, uh, so let's uh, take that thing off and get you next up. My own son, laughing in my face. Despicable. I cannot wait till he's about 16, 17, 18, and a full grown man so I can really kick his ass. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Guys, thank you all for the hard work you put in. Hopefully, you keep putting in hard work. One thing about getting promoted, though. When we go up, which direction do we not go? Down. Down, right? Can't go up, well, we go down the same time. It's not possible, I don't know how, right? So that means a new standard, right? Mm -hmm. The old way of pushing ourselves, we gotta kinda try to maybe go a little farther. So for those of you that got stripes, keep going. For those of you that don't have any, JJ, it's a matter of time, man, just keep pushing. Uh, Armani, just keep pushing. They're gonna come, okay? You guys keep pushing yourselves, and uh, always when you think you get to a new level and you think, man, I need to be here, just just remember, there's how many belts, Willie? Really? Thirteen. Thirteen, and then you get to blue, and then there's three more, and it's a lot. And I'm, and I'm going to put, uh, Matt, for a second, oh, I'm going to put Willie on the spot here. So Willie, we just split up the uh, little kids from the big kids, and how are the big kids' classes? How are they compared to the little kids in terms of what we're going over? I think of yesterday all the way. Stuff. Yeah, there's just a lot more to it. So once you guys move up to that big kids class, as I can really can tell you, what standard am I holding you guys to? Doing it right every time. <laughs> holding you to the same standard as the adults. Uh, really. So uh, Coach Darren said, Coach Darren said it right, and man, there's a lot to this, and it just takes time. So. All right. So guys, with that being said, so hands to our sides. Now, questions and we're going to get started. Yes, sir. Woo! 